Hey everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We have a great topic today. So we're going to teach you everything about a very important topic, steroid-induced psychosis. Many people in the world uh, always been prescribed steroids for many, many reasons. So the topic today is steroid-induced psychosis. Again, my name is Pramil Charyat. Uh, I'm a physician, I'm a director of uh, research, and I work as a program director in internal medicine residency, transitional residency, and then I teach uh, medical students and the residents. I'm also Austin Professor of Medicine at Hacken Skyhook School of Medicine. So let's go into our subject. So what is the definition of steroid-induced psychosis? Corticosteroids can result in serious psychiatric condition, including delusion, hallucination, agitation, and altered mental status, okay? Um, so if we look at the facts, so there's again, just like I said before, many, many conditions uh, steroid being prescribed by physicians, right? I have seen many occasions, um, sometimes um, a physician doesn't know what the diagnosis is, you know, last resort, they will say like, let me give, some, give them some steroids, see if there's any improvement. So, um, two to sixty, two to sixty percent receiving steroids are having some kind of adverse neuropsychiatric effect. Okay, five percent of the corticosteroid-induced psychosis reported in systemic lupus erythematosus. Remember that in lupus there is an increased incidence of steroid-induced psychosis. Thirty-nine percent will have symptoms in first week. Okay, and 62% of the patient will have symptoms in two weeks, and anywhere symptom can be run from two days to like 28 days, and the median onset is 11 days. Some uh, true facts there. Risk factors. So if you're taking prednisone, 40 milligram per day or greater equivalent, there's a higher risk. If you have already have neuropsychiatric disorder, that also puts you on a higher risk. Um, if you have previous psychiatric complications from steroid, um, then it can also cause uh, problems like steroid-induced psychosis. Cytochrome P450 inhibitor, any type of medication belong to that class. Female sex, increasing age. You know, in this younger patient when they can have, they can have always have like suicide. We have to be very careful. Longer acting formulations of glucocorticoids, okay? So let's look at the pathophysiology. The number one you have to remember, steroid can affect the hippocampus, okay? Steroid can uh, cause like um, neuronal death, altered gene expression of the hippocampus. It can also cause inhibitory or exhibitory effect on the neurons, and it can impact the balance of the neuronal membrane conductance also. It also tightly regulates activity of the raphe hippocampal serotonergic system, causing alteration um, in the dopamine and um, dopamine pathways, okay? So always remember that it can, um, affect two hormones pretty much, serotonin and the dopamine. So clinical presentation, how does the patient usually present with? Typically we said like again, from two days to 28 days, within days to weeks, right? More likely occur within five days of steroid use. Mania, if it is like a really short term, sometimes mania can be the presentation. Now, signs and symptoms, you can have here, I mean, mainly people have like auditory hallucination is like one of the most common complaint, delusion disorganized speech, altered mental status, okay? Now, how do you make a clinical diagnosis? This is, the, I mean, this is a clinical diagnosis. That means there's no test out there uh, to kind of find out what exactly is going on. So first thing you have to do is like make sure nothing else is causing this uh, psychosis or like a mental problems. So you have to make sure you check your MRI of the brain, CT scan, and uh, a lot of times you end up like, you know, checking a lot of blood work to make sure thyroid function is okay. No infection and all that. So the main thing you have to remember, exclude other causes of altered mental status. Now, how do you treat it? Um, you treat by discontinuing the steroids, always try to taper the steroid. Some studies have respiratory don't have like some role in it. More studies are needed in the uh, treatment. Uh, I mean, how to treat this uh, prognosis. Delirium usually resolve in five days, but psychosis, remember, can take up to 19 days. So don't expect to see the results like right away. 
prevention, again, always minimize prescription of corticosteroid and watch the dose you're giving it to them. And if you can do like a short term course, that should be fine. And sometimes you prefer like an alternative day dosing also have shown like, um, you know, decreased side effects. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. It will help us tremendously to produce more videos like this. Thank you.